Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the DNN Show, where I am your uh, co-host, Dean Egg, and today I'm flying solo again, but that's, I'm doing this pretty early. Um, today is Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas to all of you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and turn on the bell notification if, you're in, if you enjoy our uh, episodes. Um... But today I wanted to go over our uh, records from the picks last week, which brought me up to a record of 63 and 50 so far this year. So not too bad, but not too too good. Considering I only have 13 wins separating me from my losing record. So, uh, yeah, 63 and 50. And uh, Mr. Natsu has a 20, 23, and 1 record. So he's doing okay. He's doing all right too. He, I think I didn't keep track of um, his picks during the early early weeks, unfortunately. But next football season, I will. All right, get out of there. Um, but today I'm gonna go over the picks for Sunday. We're going to Sunday, Christmas football, and Monday, Christmas Day football. Um, first, I have the Colts and the Falcons, which I have the Colts winning this game because I don't think the Falcons are going to be able to win. Obviously, um, I don't have, I don't think the Falcons are going to be able to do much of. It might be a closer game than I think, but I honestly don't really believe the Falcons. I just don't. Think um, next, the Packers and the Panthers. The Panthers suck. They kind of suck this year. Um, but the Pan- Packers aren't doing much better. But I do think the Packers will win this game today. I think they have a better chance. Next, I have the Lions and the Vikings. And fortunately today, I have the Lions winning because the Lions are a much better football team than I originally thought them to, but... Um, yeah, I think the Lions are going to win this game today. Commanders and the Jets. Now this one, I think I'm going to, I'm going to say this one's a bit of the crutch match this week because otherwise the rest of the matchups are kind of, are okay. Um, but I have the Jets winning because, uh, I, I, I don't think either team is really good right now. If Aaron Rodgers manages to play this year i don't think he will i think he's they'll play it safe considering they probably have no chance of making it to at least the playoffs um so but i still think the jets are gonna next i have the seahawks oh sorry (laughs) next time i have the seahawks versus the titans now the titans are doing actually a lot worse than i thought they would the Titans are one of those more surprising teams that are they they haven't done anywhere near where I thought them to. But I have uh I have the Seahawks winning today because I think the Seahawks are in a better condition than um than Titans. So I believe that the Seahawks Next, I have the Jaguars and the Buccaneers. I have the Jaguars winning because um, as much as Baker Mayfield's actually doing really good for them, I think that the Jaguars in a much better spot to win than the Buccaneers today. Because um, I think, don't they, they still have their quarterback, I think. Um, oh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Wow, that's bad. Um, but I think they still have their quarterback. So I think it'll be a good game to watch, but I believe that the Jags are going to win. Next, I have the Cardinals and the Bears. I have the Bears winning today because I think... Oh, I think the... Um, I think the Bears are going to rally today, and I think they're going to win because they need something good to happen at the end of the year. Um, I... Th- Think, in my opinion, I think they trade. I think they trade Justin Fields next year, or in the off season. Um, 
because that's Justin Fields has been good at times, but other times he hasn't. But you also need good receivers around him in order for him to actually be good. So I I think they will win, but I think at some point they trade him. Not just because I'm hoping the Steelers will trade for it, because I don't. It's kind of a toss up for me. And in in that sense, I think I think they stick with KP as their quarterback. But honestly, I would think they start looking at people that are potentially available. Try to at least, you know, go for the job. Because Mitch Trubisky probably is not going to get the job, the spot anymore. As uh, even even QB two, even second string, I don't think he's got. I don't think he's got a chance for the job now. Not after what he put up. Not after what Mason Rudolph did yesterday. I mean, that's. So I think they released Trubisky, and then. Mason is the second, I would hope, after the game like that, and get somebody that'll at least go for the, you know, compete for the job, too, I think. But, anyway, next I have the Cowboys. Next to, it is the Cowboys and the Dolphins. Man, I can't speak today. Um, I have the Dolphins winning, because we all know how um, the Cowboys do against teams that are winning but then again we also know how the dolphins do against teams that have a winning record sometimes they win sometimes they don't so just kind of a toss of the coin because i think this will be i think it'll be a really interesting game to see um but i do think that the dolphins are going to take this one because the cowboys are probably going to choke it i could be wrong but more often than not, I sometimes don't root for the I'll root for the Cowboys just because of just my opinion. I think the I think the Dolphins are going to be a good team anyway. I think if um, if Tyree Kill is able to play, definitely Tyree Kill is def available to play. I think he'll definitely. I believe he's going for the record of uh, receiving yards, isn't he? He's going to hit two thousand. I think he's. He's almost there, but I think he'll hit it. I think he'll hit it today if he plays. But next on Sunday Night Football, Patriots and the Broncos. At least I think this is Sunday Night Football. Um, it's, uh, I have I have the Broncos win it. Especially because the Patriots aren't a good team this year. And the Broncos are in a I think the Broncos have been playing a lot better at the end of the season. I mean, they've they've made some for some good games so far at the end of the season, which I think will take them to a victory today, especially against the Patriots where I mean, they're they don't have much for a good offense. I mean, in the, in the sense of good authentic like weapons that create offense. I mean, they've got some good players. Don't get me wrong, but like that Monday Night Football against uh, or Thursday Night Football against the Steelers, they had no players that they put. They didn't have any players they put on the like the display for. Um, who the next Thursday night football is? They just put Bill Belichick, their quarterback, their coach, and they're like, wow, you don't, you can't even put anybody on the on the screen, nobody. So you put Bill Belichick. That's kind of sad. But yeah, I think the Broncos are gonna win. And now for Monday, uh, for Monday football, Monday Christmas football, if you want to call it, um. First is the Raiders and the Chiefs. Now, I have the Chiefs winning that game, considering 
the Chiefs are I think the Chiefs are much better than much better than the the Raiders. Um considering the Raiders put up 63 points this year, I don't I think that it the Chiefs are going to manage to I think they're going to manage to win this game. Now this Chiefs team is a lot different than I think we're used to seeing because you would figure that they were going to coast through it again, but they've actually kind of been trying to tough some wins out. They've had to they've had to fight for quite a few wins this year, which I don't know if that'll take them into a deep playoff run. But you know, usually it's the Chiefs, so I figure it's gonna happen. They're gonna they're gonna go to a they're obviously always gonna make a deep playoff run now. But I think I think they're just gonna win it. It it'll happen. The uh Mahomes Mahomes and Kelsey will find a way to win this game today, Christmas. So next is this Giants and the Eagles. Now I have the Eagles winning today. Obviously, because the Giants are kind of bad, are pretty much bad. I mean, there's not much to say about the Giants, and it's the Eagles, and they they lost on Monday, which interesting fact, by the way, that I just remember this. Um, for the, I think it was something like for the first time in NFL history that the underdogs, the slated underdogs, have won the last seven out of eight Monday Night Football games. Like for the first time, especially with the Eagles losing to the Seahawks last week, that I thought that was really interesting. Consider, oh. but I think they'll definitely, I think they'll definitely win today. I think they'll change that, and they will win today. Especially because the Giants. If they were facing somebody better, I would say, oh yeah, this is going to be a tough game. But Eagles versus the Giants, I'm going to do it. Next is the Monday Night Football, at least, I think it is. The Ravens and the 49ers, which I had the 49ers win into. Wow. Anyway, I have the Ravens and the 49ers. The Ravens and the 49ers, I have the 49ers win in today because um, I don't think they'll lose to the Ravens. I think um, even though, obviously, the Monday Night Curse, I guess, right now, Ravens are slated underdogs. So hypothetically, you would say that the Ravens are going to win. But um, I don't root for the Ravens. I don't care for the Ravens. So I'm going to go with the 49ers regardless. <laughs> um, one thing I want is, so that's going to do it for my picks. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is last night's game, um, sa- the Steelers versus the um, um, the Bengals. Steelers versus the Bengals. That was a really interesting game. Considering uh, Mason Rudolph, with his nose so bright, led the Steelers into victory Sunday. Um, played really well. And that's why I say I don't think Mitch Trubisky's getting his job back as the, sec- as the second string quarterback. Um, 290 yards and two passing touchdowns, I think it was, for Mason Rudolph. Which, in turn, made uh, George Pickens had four receptions for 190, uh, 195 yards and two touchdowns. I mean, they played, the offense played not, not outstanding, because sometimes he still had the three and outs, sometimes he had the little bit of issues, but Mason Rudolph played really, really well. And especially, surprise, surprise, Mason Rudolph going into Christmas Eve no, Christmas Eve Eve is what they called it. Um, he played extremely well. He took shots down the field, shots down the field when, you know, George Pickens was one-on-one, and uh, sometimes they connected. George Pickens had that really good pass on third and fifth, third and 15, third and one, either one. Um, it was like a 44-yard pass, and it was a really spectacular catch. I mean... Coming off of the game where people were scrutinizing him for his effort and he went out and had a game like that, it's like, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. And it was a really fun game to watch because I didn't think they were going to do it. At one point, well, I I still believe the Steelers will win. It's nice to watch the Steelers every 
But after last game, I was like, man, this team's sliding really bad. Like, after a three-game slide like that, and you come out, you have to have game, the game of your life. Because if you lose, I think they said if they lost, they would have had like a, not even a, like a 1% chance of making the playoffs. And then if he hadn't won, when then they go 7-8, and eight, then Mike Tomlin has to win one out of his last, would have had to win one out of his last two games to at least, or that he would have had to win both two, both two games. I would think because seven and eight, they would have won eight and eight. Yeah, he would have had to win his last two games, which would have been crazy. Um, and then had his first losing season if he would have lost both. So surprisingly, they played really well. Which, if Mason, I mean, I should say if Kenny Pickett isn't completely one hundred percent. I would say that Mason Rudolph gets the start again, and hopefully he can continue on that progress because um, obviously you got to get the ball to Pat Fryermuth a little more because he's a really big threat in the middle, and especially in the red zone he is too. Um, so I think they should have—they really could have gotten him the ball more. But for for those of you for those of you in fantasy football, if you didn't start George Pickens, I'm sorry. And uh, R.I.P. Because it's the fantasy playoffs lately, and uh, I did see on comments that some people didn't start. They were sad because they didn't start George Pickens. So anybody who was in that situation, I am very sorry. That because that's that's tough. A tough thing to happen for you. Where like we all go through that too in fantasy football, where. Somebody who's on the bench all of a sudden decides to put out the best game of their life. Like I've had, I know I've had it this year, where and, and that that shit's hard, hard to deal with. But I think I think that's gonna do it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I think I got, I think I got said everything that I needed. Um. Obviously, a bit of a short episode today, considering one, I'm by myself. Two, it's Christmas. So again, for those of you watching, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a happy holidays. Drive safe if you're in the North or Midwest, because um, it's supposed to get rain today, freezing rain today and tomorrow, something like that. So drive safe. Hope you have a wonderful holidays. And I will see y'all in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to subscribe. Who says?